What's up guys? In this video, I'm going to show you how to install and use the script and the program from the Wingsong Lair for Genshin Impact. A quick disclaimer, this program is a third party app, so use it on your own accord. First step, download the Genshin script file that you see in the video. All the links that you see in this video will be in the video description. After that, you need to download a program called Python. Then you need to install it. I recommend you to install Python in your C driver. The next step is to download a MIDI file. I will provide some sites where you can download MIDI files. The next step will be extracting the Genshin script RAR that you download first. Where do you want to install it, it does not matter. Then you need to rename your MIDI config template to MIDI config. Then you copy your MIDI file song that you downloaded into the Genshin script directory that you extracted before. After that, you need to open your Windows PowerShell. You can find your PowerShell in the Start search bar. This program needs to be run as an administrator every time you open it. After you open the PowerShell, you need to copy your Genshin script main URL name directory like you see in the video. Then you need to type CD. After that, you paste your URL name into the PowerShell, then you click Enter. Notice, as you can see, I got an error. That's because when I extracted the file, the Genshin script main folder created another subfolder inside. What we need to do is to copy only our main folder and then delete the rest like you see in the video. Then repeat the CD copy paste process again. If you are clear, then you need to type this command. Then press Enter. What I recommend here is to create a notepad that will contain all the commands that you need to add in the Windows PowerShell like I do in the video. Next, open the midi.config file as a notepad. And what you need to do here is to copy the exact name that the midi file has and then paste it inside the notepad that you see in the clip. After you paste the name of your MIDI file, you have to add that .mid and then save the file. The last thing you need to do is to close your PowerShell, reopen it again as an administrator, then copy the commands that you saved inside the folder. Now switch to the game and press the tab plus one keys at the same time. 
to start the program. To stop the program, all you need to do is press space. All the time that you want to change the MIDI file name in the MIDI.config, you need to close and reopen the PowerShell. If you want to add another MIDI file song, all you need to do is copy the file into the Genshin script directory. Then add the name of the MIDI file into the MIDI.config notepad, then save and last run your PowerShell with all the commands.
Some of the MIDI songs that you download may have a weird beat sometimes when you play them. If you think the sound is weird or the notes are played too fast or too slow, you can use this program called MIDI Editor to adjust the tempo of the track like you see me do in the video. The link of this program will be in the video description. Sometimes you will get an error when you try to run PowerShell. That's because the MIDI song that you try to play has a low beat rate. In that case, you need to download another file. 